in a quiet town. With quiet people. That's so sweet of you. I'm so proud of you. Every neighbor is like family. Your speech moved me. But sometimes, the face you know hides the demon. You don't. No! 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 Stephen Levitan and Christopher Lloyd comes the next chapter in spine-tingling horror. I'm the ass-kicking clown that'll twist you like a balloon animal. Fizbo, the clown. I am so scared. Trick or die. This summer, witness yet another Spider-Man origin story, just so Sony can retain the rights to the character. Peter Parker was just an attractive, intelligent, likable, athletic, well-dressed teenage loser. But when he easily walks into a high security lab, one radioactive spider bite will give Peter the ability to twitch like a crackhead, break everything, get every father figure in his life murdered. Act like a complete jerk every chance he gets. I just did 80% of your job, huh? Who does this to you? Please, please go to sleep. And stutter worse than Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. Um, so, uh, you want to, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, just, uh, um, I don't know, I was, I was, uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 don't, no, don't, no, okay, no, okay. Okay, 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 I gotta tell you this one thing, I gotta tell you this one thing. I, I wish I could just... Embark on a romantic journey where the hottest girl in school falls for this creepy stalker. He's got you on his computer. <laughs> Proving that love always prevails, even when you have gaping wounds that require immediate medical attention. Immerse yourself in the epic battle between a hero who refuses to fight with his mask on and a villain with the most cliche origin story imaginable, who is conveniently connected to the most important people in Peter's life. Kurt Connors. That's the name of the guy in the picture with your dad. Dr. Curtis Connors, who's also my daughter's mentor. Is that who you're talking about? That's the one. Experience the re-retold story of an uncle who strives to find yet another way of saying, with great power comes great responsibility. That if you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. That's what's at stake here. Not choice, responsibility. As well as all of these other moments that you've already seen before. Like this, a lot of this, and more of this. Call an ambulance! Swing along with the smartest teenager in Manhattan who uses the MySpace of search engines and does a terrible job of hiding his secret identity. Seriously, nobody thought that was odd. Starry, Babyhead, Charlie Sheen's dad, Forrest Gump's mom, Detective O'Murphy McIrish, the Geico Gecko, Octomom, and Lindsay Lohan if she had better parents. The not really that amazing Spider-Man. Eh, at least Kirsten Dunst wasn't in it. I'll tell you. Go. Diving finish!
heartbreaking to know that such a great kid can just shatter. Completely. Was my best friend. Was my best friend. Bobby Golately, wherever you are, and whoever you are, come back home. He, started, he, I think, is what caused the decline of the big boy's friendship. At oh, he'll just go right through. He doesn't care. He's a savage. He just goes right through. Right through. Right through. He doesn't even take him off. My name is Vinny Hernandez, former friend of Bobby Golately. I'm well known for my part in Beach Flags 2 at 3 and uh, also 1 as the waiter and faux guest. But as the waiter, that was my time when I spent, that was my time with Golately. Fun guy on set, he always knew how to crack a laugh, I mean it. If you ever get to watch his videos in there, oh it's a great time, it's a great time. There was a time back in Akinik and Scout Camp in the year of 2012. That's when me and Galately, you know, just strong bond, but then it just disappeared. Over time, you wouldn't come over and hang out, and his obsession for yoga pants began, and just went downhill, and now, now we're nowhere. I mean, I've seen him talk to other people now, of my friends, not me. Do you, have, do you have any names you could mention? <sighs> No, not at the moment, but if I ever do, I'll come back, have a nice interview. Social life? I mean, he's a man of many myths. Tiger Woods, Yoga Pants Galately. There's so many. I mean, it's heartbreaking to know that such a great kid can just shatter. 
name's RJ Hernandez. I am the brains of the Big Four comedy operation. This is it's hard for me to discuss. Let's see. Bobby Galately. Robert Galately. Was my best friend. Was my best friend. Bob and me, we go uh we go way back. Back to kindergarten days. That's where I first met Bob. We played played basketball at the parks at Arrowhead, where he was nicknamed Bobby Bounds. Cause he just he grabbed so many rebounds. It was a beautiful thing to see. He was always uh he was always comfortable in his own skin, you know, he was proud of who he was and he was a funny, funny guy. The beautiful thing about Bob on set, he never he never broke character. It was beautiful to watch somebody work and act so silly, but still be able to have that convey that funny and humorous side without ever showing that they thought of themselves as funny. One of my greatest memories came on the Beach Flag set where I uh, started as Noah Flank, the, the star of that, that operation. High, school, high school's been a rocky ride with Bob. We, uh, we drifted apart a little bit and we had a gym class together our junior year. You would have thought that would have been a, a rekindling point in our friendship, but uh, it's tough for me to look at the man I once called my best friend the same. I try and shake his hand but it's like shaking the hand of a fallen soldier, you know? Bob, he craves the youth. Bob, you have to know where to draw the line. I was born in my relationship with Bobby Glazer. It's Bobby's birthday. We used to always spend the night at Bobby's for his birthday. After our very well-known HWH first but weed basketball games. And... Me and my, my other big four comrades, we went, and Bobby's room was covered in yoga pants. Bob has suggested an intervention. Many interventions, many times, many phone calls, no answers. His friend? Just voice I'm Chris Harvey. This is my henchman. The one that always sticks out in my mind is uh, back on his birthday at his house. The weed versus uh, HWH. That was a fun night. I don't think we went to bed that night, did we? We didn't. Just good old days. Where he didn't have a care. <laughs> he didn't have a care in the world. Uh, good old Bob. He's a fun guy to be around. Always making everyone laugh. Sometimes took it a little too far. What is? Sorry, I farted. But um. He was just, he was just an A-class guy. Come on, 
Pepsi right here while I'm sipping at us. <laughs> Give a little, little raw. Who's that? Like? This is Pepsi. <laughs> Sugar yard ice cream. Waiter, waiter. Give me a napkin, please. Huh? Give me a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go eat a bat <laughs> And bring some cookies while you're at it. Oh, excuse me, boy tendon, we need cookies. Yo, tendon. I need some. Tendon, oh, tendon. Tendon, I your milk. <laughs> Wait, I need a sip. <laughs> what if you have herpes? I don't, don't work. Excuse me, I need to ask you. I need cookies and a napkin. Dr. Betsy has a thing down there. What? There's nothing that he can get herpes from. Right up in the room. Some more milk. Okay. Like, like a new hat. By the way, by the way, a new one. So, uh, guess you gotta be uh, running. Yeah. Gotta go get Betsy from downstairs. Alright. No. Son of a poop. <laughs> it's related. Oh, God. So, anyway. You guys like cooking? Yeah, not yet. So, um, can you please go? You guys like cookies? And just go away, Tendonitis. Go away! <laughs> what? Go away! Hey! You son of a poop! <laughs> Alright, anyway. Oh, what was that? What happened with Fogis? Yeah, I know, he's retired. Oh my god, you happy? My biggest rattle out of about time. Out of this country. Who's gonna be in your way? They told me now. No one. Absolutely not a baby! Unless you get injured. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, let's not, not speak of the devil. Not enough wood. We have no competitors. Uh, That's uh, asshole. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, hip bar. What's up, buddy? Hey. How you doing? Hey, I beat you a couple years back. Now I'm back. Calling for your title. You don't like us anymore, do you? My name is uh, Zach Ty. Ooh. Good friend of Bob. Um, it's been a while since me and Bob one on one hung out, cause you know he's uh, the new Bob now. Um, you know, me and Bob were close, and um, it kind of sucks because I mean, such a good kid going down like that. It's like I don't know. It makes me upset talking about it. You know, some of the best ones were like uh, just hanging with. You know, all of us. You know, like uh, Fonzo, the cow, me and Bob. Like that was that was the that was it. You know, and making the movies that was the best thing. And uh, speaking of which, I actually have the banana that Bob used on set of uh, Beach Flags. I think two, maybe three. The actual banana that he used to shove in my face. Bob is uh, you know, he's he's unique. You know, you never you never know. I mean, we didn't see all this coming, but uh, I mean, there's always there's always a chance that you could come back. I mean, he was a good friend of mine, you know. I mean, he still is, but back when we were in like the Boweeb days, you know what I mean? Like it was the best. I think it was more of when he uh, we kind of stopped hanging out like multiple times a week, you know. Like I used to have to walk to his house every day. We'd hang out at like almost every day. He kind of stopped, and uh, honestly, when he started dating uh, Flabby, is when he uh, kind of went downhill, cause um, stuff happened with him and Flabs, and uh, he, um, you know, I guess that changed him. You know, it's upsetting to me to see such a good kid like that. I mean, my my uh, I grew up with Bonnie Blue. His vehicle. Any uh, last words you'd like to say about Bob? Yeah, uh, Bob, if you're watching this, just come home, Bob.
Somebody stop his poo. Somebody stole my poo. Somebody stop his poo. Somebody stole my poo. Black or dark or black or dark or shaka taka shaka taka. Ooh ha ooh ha. Hello we do. Hello we do. Yeah 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 yeah. We do gaka pa. We do make a car. We do make a car. We do make a car. I just want to take it. Take back your poop. So please don't cry. Jillian. I heard a Jenny stole your poop. It's a really big chin named Jenny. He flushed it down the toilet. And now it's in the sewer. I heard some reflection that I saw a cave. I'm walking around with my head broken cane. My name is Jim. People think I stole the poop. But I'm telling you the truth. They're all just snoops. I heard somebody pooped. Was it yours? If it ain't, then I'm walking next door. You got it all wrong. It was truly really stole. I heard it was a guy with a really big mole. Well, thank you for telling me the truth, bro. Well, I gotta go take a poop. All right. I'm Dan Lighty, and I was once a friend of Bob's. I remember back in like, what was it, like sixth or fifth grade, when we we did the movie Beach Flags 3. That was when I first was introduced to Bob, and he was like weird in the beginning, like doing all his weird stuff, like hitting people with bananas, but like kind of got to know him as I moved up through the grades, hanging out with all my friends. And, I mean, when I got into, like, 8th grade, maybe, summer of 8th grade, he just kind of moved a little bit. Not, like, he just kind of moved into a whole different kind so of person. So, at a person. point, you were, you were great friends with Bob? You knew him? Yeah, like, hanging out with him, you know, just doing movies together, hanging out here during the summer, going to the beach. I was set up by one of my agents to go on an undercover mission with Bob after his change started and it was before a football game he picked me up and we went to someone's house and this was just a side of Bob that I never seen he just kind of died from who I used to know what he used to be and he's just never been the same Bob I want you back man I really do
cheap. I got a lot of rap, but I'll be brief. I never need a horse, I like the chip. So I drive up in my new Seville. My tribe went down in the Hall of Fame, cause I'm the one who shot Jesse James. Pound for pound, I will never break down. Big Bang. No, sir, I don't mess around. Me, a veteran known as the Master G. A fucking in squad, sense the danger. When it's done, about the rapping ranger. Had a little talk with my medicine man. He said, Get them squads fast that you get to all you girls. I wanna join my tribe? Just move to the rhythm and feel my vibe. Put up a fuss in the end, you'll agree. But when you come inside my TV, as I said before, you can sense the danger. When you're stung about the rapping ranger, with silver and I take a ride. All you six better step aside. I stay in the squads, then I run away. How super is what I'll say. How? Now what you hear is not a test. Oh. 